Hello everybody and welcome back to Borderlands 3, Mad Moxie's heist on the handsome jackpot. In the last episode, we went and got a bot for this hacker guy. <laughs> this guy's got the battle bus in his little garage here. Uh, but he's some sort of hacker guy that's going to let us hack into uh, different loaders and things like that and help us out. He's kind of joined the crew, as it were, with kind of setting up a heist crew. It reminds me quite a lot of that uh, new um, episode of thingy um, Rick and Morty. That's got a lot of high stuff in it. So, we're going to be teleporting back to here. Return to Timothy. Let's go over there and make our way over to him. I'm still absolutely loving this DLC. I'm on my second day playing it now. I actually didn't expect, like, normally... I remember when I played through Borderlands 2, I didn't do any of the side missions in the, uh, in the DLC. But I was... Oopsie, I need to go back this way. I was very surprised to see that each DLC was only, like, two episodes long. Like... I'm surprised that so far we've only done like two side quests and we've already got quite a lot of um, of mileage out of this DLC so I'm really happy about that. And like I said I'm really happy that we've got like a gun from it now, we've actually got the class mod as well. Unfortunately the class mod's a bit terrible. What I'll probably do actually is um, farm a better one of those and I'll actually try and make a build around it. So Timothy. Sounds good, my dude. Sounds good. Yeah, as we know, this this thing. Whoa. That guy's not dying at all. Get some grenades from that guy. This, can't, this gas call. I don't know why I wasn't using it for longer. We don't get anywhere near as much regen, but this... Oh, God, that guy does have a jack spares on him. This um, SMG gives us way more than enough regen. It's fine. Get that up there. The only thing is, it isn't proper homing. Set that on fire. Do we have any fire guns? We don't have anything that, that does fire damage, do we? We can't really get that until we get some fire damage weapons. But I'm going to make my way back over before we do this Return to Timothy thing here. I'm going to make my way back over to that area that we were at before because we did have a side mission that we left there. And I don't want to forget about it because I know for a fact I will forget about it. So we're going to go back over through here. Go to the little transporter thing, whatever it was. Was it was it this way? I think it was over this way, wasn't it? Yeah, in the vice area. Take off robots. My time to shine, boys. Literally just throw them and run. But yeah, I'm thinking a, a cool corrosive build would work quite well with that. But yeah, let's get on our little zoomer here. Zoom through. Make our way back over towards the side quest and there. Uh, See what it's got to offer. See what it's got going on. Because I'm quite excited to see. Let's have a little look, shall we? A little look indeed. Welcome to the Vice District, you broke degenerate. <laughs> Jack's just such a brutal man. Like, he just does give no fucks. Does give. Doesn't give any fucks about, like, anyone. It's great. Don't forget to spend. I won't forget to spend. So I think we've got to go through here. Oh, I forgot about these. We weren't using this grenade last time, though, so this should be fairly easy. <laughs> they were. Um, make our way through here. We're throwing grenades as well. And we have a side mission just up here, look. I see a little side mission. Let's see what we've got to do for this guy. How do I... How do I accept it? Yeah, I'd like to accept this side mission. Ow. Um, there you go. A drunk musician in need of refreshment. Sure, why not? This is part one, so this is going to be quite a long side quest by the sound of it. I'm a demon, man. Slap. 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 You sure did? I mean, I only use my knife. By the way, big fan. Slap. He's up. Oh my god, this guy's great. Oh, look at his little nibbies. just a start. Need a concoction. Uh, pick me up, something to uphold Digby's tempo. You know how to make a June pie jump starter, don't you? I mean, we'll have to improvise. Oh my God, paint uh, thinner. Strong. Something alive. Yeah, paint thinner's not really what I was thinking of. God damn, dude. few of them on there. It's really nice for these normal enemies as well because the, the a lot of them actually have armor so that's helping us out with that. I mean, it does, it does good damage anyways. 
but we're still doing good damage nonetheless. Oh, this SMG is just absolutely brilliant. I love it. It's so satisfying to use that. Excuse me. I really want to see one of them regen and see if they actually do or if it is just they did just get rid of that feature. It really makes no sense if they did. One last enemy over here. Oh my god, we actually aimed down sight for once. Whoa, I did lower my mouse sensitivity a little bit to make aiming down sight a little bit more useful. So we'll see if that gets used much. A pep in his step. But yeah, but basically what I'm thinking of is we might change our build up and get rid of this because if we're going to be dealing if we're going to be dealing um explosive damage already we don't really need this i mean it does technically increase our damage with the explosive um actually i don't know it te technically does this deal gun damage or not does it deal gun damage or explosive damage because if it deals gun damage then we are still getting the benefit of the extra explosion but if not then we're actually not getting any benefit out of that so there was another rigged machine there. Was it that one? It was. I see you, buddy. Where are we getting these rat checks from? They're just up there. Look, I see them. I see them. Kind of cool. They've got a little jumping mechanic thing here going on. Thank you. Do not open. Get a lime. Right. Okay, paint thinner, a rat check, and a twist of lime. This seems healthy. But yeah, what I'm thinking is, maybe we, we get rid of these skills here. So we, we, stay, we stay with all of these and stay with our grenade healing. Stay with all of this. We get rid of these three here and actually go a bit further down on this tree and go all the way into forge um, and max out this as well, maybe. Uh, and then we'll have a lot on this, a lot on this. Bit extra there, bit extra there. Um, get the corrosive damage and then maybe we can put into like drowning in brass and thin red line or something and i'm just sort of trying to theory craft some builds that might work that are a bit bit out of the norm because although this build is kind of of my own creation like i did i did theory craft this in my uh, my build video before the game came out sort of based on my own intuition of what would work but it is a very popular build like it's even though i did think of it myself sort of it's still like the, the the most obvious choice if you know what i mean like it's not like i thought of something really out of the norm that's that's crazy and like no one would expect it's still very similar to other builds like think of one like the face puncher tdr build that's such Better a cool that's such a cool build that um jolts dude came up with like completely on his own and it, it, it really defined how the character is played to some extent yeah, that's that's one thing. We ain't getting anywhere near as much healing off of these grenades. So we gotta be a bit more vigilant. A little bit more vigilant. Don't be going suicidal on me. I see, I see ya. Really? You both missed? The only thing is we'll be using we'll be, we'll be losing our redistribution, but that's that's kind of the reason. If we get rid of redistribution, we want to be getting forge. Because that makes up for redistribution. And so we get 5% from each. But one of them is constant rather than just on crits. So it's, it's actually a little bit better. We've got to change the way we spec our skills completely. Been known to happen. As in, like, you've died from it before? Is that what you're trying to say? Sorry, Ratches. Ain't got time for you right now. There you go. Blend it. Give it a whirl. Whoa. It's getting everywhere, dude. There you go, dude. Up the tempo. Hit the snare. Digby's a coming like a solar flare. My god, I love this guy. Hold steady, Digby. Hold steady. This guy's great. Whoa. Oh crap. I killed Digby for Ruth. Wait, no, no. Okay. 
<laughs> I thought we I thought he died. God damn, god damn! I'm Digby Vermouth, baby! Back on track thanks to you! You virtual so instrument! You clear the fog of maestro mixing! That's what you are. Come a little closer, <laughs> maestro! Eyes are still adjusting to the light. Hello. Lucky break you showing up. You've got a I don't know. A certain vibe to you. Kinda unpredictable. Haha. -ha. Me to jam sometime. What do you I think, am unpredictable Maestro? boy, indeed. I will jam She's with you. Gone. I'm not gone, I'm here. My baby. Dick is back here to play, but without his prize saxophone, what's a jazz man to do? That two pie jump starts a start, Maestro. But now my fingers are twitching, and Digby's lips need to taste some tunes. Let's do it. Let's taste some my tunes. My Delilah and I have been spreading sweet song across this fair galaxy since I was an itty bitty Digby. Itty bitty Holy Digby. We are. She's gone. Can't make music without my Delilah. <laughs> Help me find her. Okay, All sounds I good. Remember before I passed out with my buddy Crad the Ski. A puff of smoke and sloppy dance music. I'm thinking the Vice District. Shame cool, let's go casino. back. For a time it was jamming. My agent signed me for a three week gig here on the way to June Pi 7 for Casavan Sunfest. Thing is, before the last show, some vault hunter called curtains on Handsome Jack. And this whole thing became a permanent residency. Yep, I but think I it did. Crying. You can make music in a bathroom stall if you're good. Because <laughs> I, I am. I can I'm tell you, I dig me. I can tell you uh, between us. the stalls, yeah. This casino's got a crazy vibe. Produced my first song after the lockdown in the dark. Lockdown loving. Ludus came to the studio. Lockdown loving. Tracking. Well, they just put down their guns to listen. By the end of the song, they was all buck naked making whoopee. <laughs> <laughs> He's just You're starting sure orgies. Can. He's just playing music and starting orgies. Make peace, not war. Make love, not war. Right, this rock bottom. Here we are. But he ain't answering my calls. Give him a buzz. Buzz, buzz. Yeah, hey there, Delilah. There yet, oh my god, this guy's oh, drunk as shit. There you no go, that's how you kill him. Mimes? Actual mimes? Okay then. <laughs> We're gonna go find some mimes. I really hope they're bandit mimes. And they're just like doing the whole pretend rope and the pretend guns and shit. That'd be so funny. Wait, have I gone too far here? I've gone too far, haven't I? Alright, perverts, this is your stop. Shit. Let me open up my map. I may have gone too far here. I may need to go back. Open up my map. See where I gotta be. No, no, I'm in the right place. I'm in the right place. Just the way that the uh, thingy goes around. It looked like I was in the wrong place, but I think I'm Toodaloo, okay. Sugar tits. Toodaloo, sugar tits. Let's keep her moving. Always pick up some grenades. We run by here. Give us some of the sweet grenades. Now I got out of here. See, this is another thing I like about this DLC as well. Like, a lot of the DLCs bring, like, reoccurring characters back in. Like, obviously we have Moxie um, and Timothy sort of thing. But, like, what I'm saying is you can't have, like, the whole cast of the normal games here because it's a different, completely different, like, place in complete lockdown. I really like the way that, we've ha that they've had to, like, resort to using new characters rather than just doing side quests for the same old people and having Lilith tell us to come back to us and all this sort of shit. Oh, he's a robot. Okay. For Digby's saxophone. Where's it at? 
<laughs> he is doing it, yes. Okay. Think he wants a tip, maestro. Give me some of that iridium, boy. A tip. Nice, uh, miming. <laughs> Oh, how the hell do I emote? Does anyone... Does anyone remember how to emote? <laughs> Is that something anyone's ever done? Uh, controls. Emote. Let's have a look-see. Okay, up arrow. Finger guns. What? What? The, what? Okay, okay, I'll talk, Digby. I'm sorry. Bloody G jumped me and it took your sax. Bloody G. Damn wannabe sax man runs a gang called the Brass Holes. The Brass Holes. That's <laughs> great. Lila since I got here. Go get her back, my stroke. I'll do it. Go find Bloody G. I am in love with these side quests right now. Like. <laughs> Borderlands has such a simple gameplay loop. It's literally, I mean, really, it's it's always go there and get this or go there and shoot this. But they just bring such life to it. Like, I, I, it's difficult to do missions that are, they're not samey, but they have the same basic ingredients and make them so different. It, they, they do such a good job of it. Yeah, get swarmed, boy. You dead? Oh, I got a legendary. Dueling wheel wagon, wagon wheel. There we go. Do you reckon that's a that's a DLC exclusive one or not? Wagon wheel. Let's try it out in 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 favor of our handsome jackhammer. See what it's like. It doesn't seem like anything special so far. I can't tell if it's a DLC one or not either. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to shoot something. Let me go find something to shoot. One moment, Digby. I'm just going to go find something to shoot at and see. Because it might have some sort of special effect. A lot of weapons do. A lot of legendary weapons, at least. If I hit something, it'll do something special. Oh, yep, yeah, it does something special. It seems to be that whenever I hit, it fires off shots in every direction. Hey, I think it does the recoil on every single hit. It's... it's decent. I wouldn't say it's brilliant. We've definitely got better weapons. It's just the damage is a little low and the accuracy is terrible. Seems pretty decent though. I can get down with this. Yeah, I can get down with it, but it's it's just not overly powerful, really, is it? Um, go back to our SMG. Like the SMG is just god tier. Every time I hit, I get the feeling. While I'm using this um, gas call, I should really switch out to another. Uh, Another big boom blaster. I think I have one back at Sanctuary as well, so I might I might go switch for that one. I think it's whenever we get out of our mech, we get like 75% in increased shields for 10 seconds or something. There's your saxophone, boy. My pride and joy. Let's see what she has to say. Here we go. It's got little jets on the bottom of it. He is going for it, boy. Not that good on it, to be fair. I was expecting him to be a lot better. You're a bit rusty, oh, my guy. Damn, Delilah, that's a sound. Thanks for bringing it back to me, Maestro. No worries, my dude. Cut a record sometime. I'm talking fire and fits, chords and chaos. Oh yes, 
We'll get this casino back on track with Symphony and Sirenara. Digby Vermouth and the Sounds Vault Hunter. good to Ooh, me, Digby. Music to my ears. Sounds good to me, Digby. Let's make some music. Part three, the final. Digby's ready to jam. No, not the final. Digby's got his sax and is ready to hit the scene. Time to cut a record, baby. Let's do it. Foxy's bar got a sweet studio set up, but the road's a little rocky. Mind being my roadie maestro? I yes, back, I will. Digby. I probably have to pick some up. Why? All right, all right. Let's go then. <sighs> yep, false up. I know you got escorting. So there's going to be a shit ton of enemies. We know that for a fact. You know what escorting means? Oh, I like his little light. I didn't notice his jacket. It's like a light up jacket. It's cool. Gotta warm up. Okay, whenever he starts playing, I guarantee enemies come. Maybe not. Hmm. I was expecting it to be a swarm of enemies right now. Go, Digby. That's the one. Not bad, not bad. I love the way he runs. This Look at him. Gonna be the top. <laughs> Look at his little. Clear out the riffraff, Vault Hunter. Can't make music if I'm dead. I'm pretty sure I already cleared out the riffraff. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I cleared all of this out before we did this. All the riffraffs are dead, my Here dude. We are. Time to cut a record. Let's do it, my guy. The power, maestro. Hot mic could be hotter. Let's warm it up. <laughs> I thought it was gonna make me shoot it with a fire weapon. He is going for it. Look at this beast of a man. Absolutely saxing it up. Not bad, not bad. Steel Dragon of Eternal Pain. Oh my god. Ooh, damn. I will. Oh shit, it's these. Got him. Steel Dungeon. It's gonna be here, isn't it? I will. Get some grenades in the hole. Just a few. Just a few. Just keep throwing. Ta-da! Steel Dragon the Telepair is going down. Yeah, it's got legendary from him too. Undermining powerhouse cheap tips. Damaging an enemy may drop casino chips that boost weapon damage for 12 seconds and picks up. That's definitely a new one because the, the casino chips just make sense. So that is... The damage isn't bad. The fire rate's less. The reload speed's longer. This damage boost better be high. So far, it doesn't look particularly impressive, but it's it's, it's radiation, so I'll get I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Oh god, that that is a slow fire rate for an SMG. Now that's an artistic collaboration. An for autistic or artistic? I, I think he's an artistic. For the I reckon that's his voice. I don't know where from. Everybody's got their own sound. Probably really obvious. Even if they gotta dig for it. Jump again sometime. Okay, please say this is a great weapon. Digs me smooth tube. Let's try this out for a brief moment. Let's just go kill some stuff with this and see what it's like. Dig me smooth tube. Let's try both these. Fucking up the music in this area is great. So weird, but fits so well. Well, I hope this like plays fucking music or some shit. I want it to do something wacky as like properly wacky. Wait, I'm just checking something. 
I was maybe thinking this music was only on because... Oh my god, I'm gonna go down here. Yep. It seems decent. I don't, it doesn't seem to do anything special though. I'm seeing if, if maybe I get a kill with it. I can't seem to get a kill with it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it doesn't do anything special. It just seems like a half decent assault rifle. Hard or cool, man. Hyper Jazz is Hyper Jazz. So, let's try this out. So, is it said damaging or killing enemy? Damaging an enemy. Okay, that's pretty good. There's a purple chip. It auto picks up. Does it say how much it ups its damage by while you've got it active? Hmm. Okay, now I'm seeing the effectiveness of this. It can apply to other weapons. So, basically, the, the idea is we can shoot something with this bad boy and then swap to our secondary, swap to our other SMG. And this should be some crazy damage. And it actually makes it less of a damaging weapon and more of a utility weapon. And now it kind of makes sense in that role why it has less fire rate. Because if it had high fire rate, it would be very powerful. Because you should be able to spawn the chips a lot more often. We spawn that up. Scrub. Well, um, excuse me. He just fell through the map. Oh my god, this is so good. The damage boost is pretty noticeable. It's Hyperion as well, so that makes that easier. Yeah, so you basically kill one enemy, leave a few chips on the floor, like you've got an extra one there. Oh, no, I think I picked it up. Hmm, now I wonder, does it stack? I'm gonna check that after the episode. Let's see. I can pick multiple up at the same time. I think it stacks. Because that guy died instantly. Okay, so this has this has a really, really good role as a utility weapon. That could be very, very impressive for us, that. Right, let's make our way over here. Don't boom, boom. To spend. I quite like that. It's not the best weapon ever, but it's unique. And I like unique weapons. Like, it seems that basically every DLC that's ever been in Borderlands has, like, one or two run-defining weapons uh, that everyone strip. loves. The and then, like, a bunch of other weapons greatness. that are, like, Which really wacky. And me. I love that. I think that's a great format. I don't think every single weapon in the game has to be great. Like, honestly, this SMG isn't that good on other characters. It's still strong, but it really shines as most because it's, it's permanent explosive damage at a high fire rate. And there's not many other guns. Because, like, the Urga kind of fits the same role, but not as well. Ah, oh, cool. It actually does a little roll thing there. We've got a badass. So, let's fire this at him get some chips to spawn. We've got the chips now. That's it. That's what I do. You can see how much damage it's boosting us by. It's difficult to keep the buff going sort of thing. Because you have to keep swapping. Maybe we could spec into swap speed. And that would help. But that guy just dropped a shit ton of them look. And it, it seems like as well. Sometimes when we set enemies on fire, the fire ticks of damage actually help us with that and spawn some of the, um, I almost said potato chips then. Not potato chips. Some of the, uh, poker chips. I know this station is more than just a pleasure palace. Jack always had another secret, but you're saying you don't know anything about that? I swear, Jack never told us what was in the core. He said anyone who went down there would share an intimate weekend in the honeymoon suites with him and a grapefruit juicer. I don't even know what that means. For all of our sakes, I hope you're telling the truth. If Jack left a secret weapon in this casino, we can't let Pretty Boy get his sweaty fingers on it. 
I'll be watching you, Timothy. Oh no. You having some hard times with Moxie there? Really nails that combo of terror and turn on, doesn't she? Hey, this is nothing. Oh no, momento, por favor. I think we need to turn the sound up a little bit. It's a little quiet. I'm not turning it down earlier, but let's just actually let's let's go sounds. So let's boost that up to like 40, and then just boost everything else down to like so that goes to 80. Dialogue can stay high. Music can get a little bit lower. I can't stop thinking there you about go. that time I took her out to dinner for Jack. I mean, totes truth sees here. Do you think she'd ever be up for that again? You know, brutal honesty. Doesn't sound like it, man. I think you have a better chance with Iron Bear. Yep. Now, oh, yeah, no, there you go. totally. Forget it. Anyway, talk to Iron Bear. Turrets in front of the tower. Moxie found a way past him. We got to get down into the station's core to cut off. Oh, he's here now. Hey, Freddy. Ultra high Oh! There's so much accuracy down with Terror. That's crazy. Whoa! Our crew is going to need one more guy. Whoa! Oh my god, you get so much recoil of Terror. Jack's old personal tailor. We're going to need his mad skills if I'm going to nail my cosplay of that handsome bastard and trick security. My cosplay. I mean, you don't really need to nail a cosplay when you look exactly like him. But yeah, I'll be on the lookout for a, a shield that may be a bit better for us. For now, at least. Because the big boom blast is good, but it's not all that we need right now. Head through to the market for our handsome boy. Right, don't worry about this. We got this covered. We'll have a lot of these. We should be fine. From a distance. There you go. We cool. Okay, now I've got some actual enemies. Really? Has not spawned a single chip yet? Okay. So, maybe the chance to spawn a chip is, is really low. It seems to spawn a lot before, but... Okay, there we go. We, we got one there. We got one there. Oh my god, and when you get one, you really get one. Don't worry, he'll die. <laughs> Finally, I'm dead on the outside, too. Great stuff. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting the ion cannon, the weapon that's actually really good. Like, a, sorry, not weapon, a rocket launcher that's really good. There's not many good rocket launchers in the game. The hive's the only one that's, like, really good. Come here, yo. Got you too. Big boys going down. This SMG, oh my god, I love it. Do you see how badly I missed this guy with that grenade? That's pathetic. Don't worry about it though. We got him. There's another enemy up here. I think I can get him. Nope, not quite. Oh my god, please. He needs to die right now. No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. God damn it, grenades. Why can't you just home? If I had my actual normal grenades on, they'd just home in on and be easy. Like I said, we're making sacrifices. We're using a stronger grenade that deals more damage, but that means we're gaining less health. It's, it's, it's difficult. We've got to make sacrifices. It's okay though, we cleared out almost all the enemies apart from one. I mean, really, I should have just gone past him, but I think we have to kill him, maybe? I'm not sure if they'll respawn now, actually. Um, there's some areas over here we haven't been to yet, so I want to check those out. Is there a VIP area up here? Looks like it. Let's go around and have a little look-see, shall we? He's still up there, look. There you go. That was easy enough. That was easy enough. Oh, there's a lot more. Got him. Okay, we made our way through. 
And we're back on one of these things again. Now, dum -dum. Yeet, yeet. Goodbye now. Yeah, this area is huge. I really like the way they've connected these. Ma well, means they can make areas a lot bigger. Now that you're out of uh, ass-kicking distance of moi, here's where you're going. Trash Lantis! It's trash exactly Lantis. what it sounds like. You're going to need to find the trash chute. Nice. Sounds great. Thanks, Timothy. Thanks. Getting in the dirt. Nah, to be fair, most don't give a now shit. The trash chute opens once a day when the maintenance bots make their rounds. You're gonna have to squeeze through that before it closes up. That Got a thing is about. tighter than Trent. Boy kegels, baby! Way to keep it tight, buddy. Oh my gosh. Go ahead, Ratch. Anybody Ratch is the worst. Him? Apart from if they're alive humans like them fr <coughs> and friends we helped out. <coughs> I apologize. <coughs> we'll be a pedo here. Is this it? Oh no, it's just a, it's like a garden. There's a lot of weapon cases in it. Oh no, two. I say a lot, it's two. No legendary this time. Not a single one. How very sad. Now I'm gonna make sure to explore everywhere first before we make our rounds. I wanna see if there's any side quests, I wanna see if there's any new enemies. I wanna just take a little peruse, see what's going on. Try not to die. I've not been even checking what my uh, Mayhem 3 modifiers are, I've just been fucking getting on with it. <laughs> not really made too much of a difference so far. We had a few areas where we've had more deaths than others, but... Yeah, man, you're down. An enemy over here as well, there you are. We've got a weapons case. Give me a legendary. Give me that legendary. Ow. Ow. Love that. Instantly walked up to me and dies. Is there a guy up there? It seems like it, no? No, apparently not. Is he getting hit by nothing, I suppose? <laughs> Moses grenade power. This was an unprecedented and unchallenged. Okay, it seems like there's something up here for us to, to set on fire. Is there a good way to get up there, or, or do we have to travel over this? It kind of looks like we have to travel up this, doesn't it? But can we travel up Wait, What? I don't know how to get up there. Fuck you, fire thing. I can't figure that out. I'm not smart enough for things like that. I am. I am a VIP. You're a vip -ness. I am feeling it. I'm feeling it bigly. Let's make our rounds. Why are some of these garbage cans locked? I guarantee there's something that we have to do uh, side quest wise with trash cans. If there's some of them are locked, that almost definitely means there'll be. Yeah, there's another locked one there. That almost definitely means there's a side quest related. Oh my god, the G spot. J spot even. Yeah, like. Oh, what the hell? All oh, right, I thought it was a looting. I thought it was a looting. All right, out of grenades. Got to use our actual shooting. Oh my god! How impoverished we are. Get some of them over there. Get our grenades back so easily. This big green blast is crazy. Who's left? It's one of you. Ow! Rocket launcher. No thanks. Whoa! There's my big moon blaster in. So technically, setting ourselves on fire constantly would be a really good way to make the big moon blaster work even better. But we have no proper way of doing that. Right, I've got this little underground bit here. I'm sure this will be integral to the plot. Right, let's make our way. Oh, well, this is what we're meant to be. Looks like we missed our window. There's gotta be another way to get it open. We could set the trash on fire. The maintenance no, no, he doesn't, he doesn't care. Come running. No, no, you had me a trash fire. Listen to the lady vault hunter grab that trash. Once you gather the trash, I'm going to told you. to spark the magnificent flames. Ember, I knew it. Really like fire, huh? 
fire solves many things. Fire does solve many things. You are right. Oh, if you have a bully, you. just set them on fire. Head down into that disgusting trash pit, are you? Well, when you first got here, I thought you were VIP. But now that I know you better, a trash pit is exactly where you belong. Oh, uh, and if you see him, you tell the mayor that Translantis is on my shit list. I'm gonna flush that place one of these days. Don't do it. We need a place to put our trash. I'm the trash man. Now these bots just don't attack. I've been I've been shooting at these like on the site, and they just don't attack you. I've just been savagely destroying them all. With like absolutely no reason. Luckily, we know where most of these are already, because I was kind of keeping tabs on various trash spots just in case. You s if you ever see anything locked, it almost definitely is part of a side quest, so just keep tabs on it for later, just in case you come back and do that side quest. <clears throat> right, we're almost there. 10 out of 15. The last few will be around the corner over that way. Let me just check back here first. No. Yeah, I think we've got to go around the corner that way. And then we just about be done. We'll have all of the trash we need to get down that chute. This is another mission that seems like it's going to lead to a really cool new area. Which I'm excited to see. Like, that that last, like, underneath the ship um, impound lot area, area was so interesting. I, I really, really liked that area. I thought that was a brilliant, brilliant part of the game. Like, the, the, the map design was just so unique and, and different. Mm, right, we're missing, we're missing four, no, three, sorry, so... Keep your eyes peeled, people. And then shout at me for missing them, because I'm dumb. Uh, some down here, maybe? There's one. That one, you have any trash in it. There's one as well. You garbage man. Right. <clears throat> okay, we've got like a little underground bit here. Maybe maybe it's this bit here. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. It says there's a little bit of space that could be in here maybe, so let's check that just in case. I doubt it because it's literally the tiniest amount of space. We do found we did find a rep weapon crate there, so it's not all bad. Fortunately, nothing we really need. Right, where are these ones I'm missing then? Are they are they in here? Might be in the area we came from. Like there must, there must be some obvious ones that I've missed, maybe. Hmm. I am confusion. I am confusion. I really wish so. You see these three circles on the mini map. I really wish they disappear one by one when we like got all of them in that area, because it's very hard to tell which area we haven't properly searched. There's obviously some place that were that we've that we've missed off the list, and I'm, I'm struggling to find it right now. Take me to your trash bags. Like, I don't see any in this area whatsoever. We got this one back here. Again, I'm not seeing any more around here. There's a weapons crate up there, though. We'll go and check that out. Big old rocket launcher. Um, we got that one. We got that one. The only area left is this little area here, so... This is the only one in this area. Right, let's do let's do a full lap. We'll open up any garbage can we see, whether it's part of the quest or not. Cause then it, it avoids any confusion later on for us. 
There's one. Just in case, even though I think if they're not in the circle, it won't give us anything. Um, it's still worth doing anyways. Just to get them out taken care of in that way. Maybe it's up there? Is there, is there something up there? Like, because that definitely looks like an area we're supposed to be able to get to. There's a weapons crate up there, for God's sake. I don't know how to get up there. Like, from here, there should be some bins it in some area, but maybe, maybe it's not in a bin. Maybe it's like in a box or something. Hmm. I don't know. This is rather confusing. We're just kind of opening and checking everything we can now. Just in case. Oh my god. They're spawning things now, right? I thought maybe if I shoot at them, they'll lead me. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Let's get it over. I'm glad it wasn't me being stupid and missing out on the bins. Ta-da! I did it. Place a bomb. Where? Oh, I take a bomb from Ember. Let's do it! Oh, we're gonna plant this poor tree. Fallen casualty. The tree. Boom! That's some smelly garbage. Emergency trash services required. Who is responsible for this mess? Yo. Unacceptable. Yo. <laughs> we bought Stanley Mac too. Well, Stanley, we got the keys. Oh man, I envy you. Trash vacation, best vacation, am I right? Guys? Whoa, what the hell's that thing? Oh, days like this. Oh, that's another one of those thingies. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> What's going on? It's time to face the facts. If we want this casino, we're gonna have to take Pretty Boy out. And he knows that. Let's do it. Excellent. The trash chute is open. Right. Voyage, we're going down to the trash chute. I think we're going to leave the episode here. Seems like a good stopping point. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you've been enjoying this series. Uh, I've been loving it. I'll see you guys in the next one.